This is Daniel Labigo out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. You see my daughter right here? We're at the doctor's office. It, she has that sickness going around. So we're just gonna get her checked up. And while we're waiting on the doctor, we're just gonna do uh, some basic obedience in here like we do every new place that we go to. Look down. Good boy. Sit. Good. I'll also do some marker training while I'm here. Touch. Good boy. Touch. Good boy. Sit. Stay. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna let a lot of you guys know um, if you think that there's a certain word that you have to use a certain specific way, sit, say, or sit means sit and only sit and don't yeah, I am not allowed to say stay, you're wrong. What I'm trying to say here is everybody has their own vocabulary and how they communicate with their dog. My dog knows what I mean when I say things, so have fun with it, guys. Definitely have fun with your dog and, and your dog training. Quick commercial break in the video to make sure you guys are hitting the thumbs up button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and those notification bells are turned on. Comment below for some awesome conversation. Some conversation starters. Anyways, back to the video. Stand. Not every time he gets a treat. Good. Touch. I forgot to say touch on that last one. Good. Touch. Good. Touch. Touch. Good boy. Touch. Good. Touch. Good boy. Good boy. Heal. Good. I'm being real quiet in here when I don't need to be. It's just an office. Heel. Good boy. You feeling okay? Yeah, just a little sit come. Come on, bye. Walking around, walking around like the Christmas tree. Touch. Good boy. Touch. Touch. Good. Sit. Good. See, I don't need to give him a treat every time because he knows. You know, huh? We've been doing this a long time. Touch. Good. See if he'll do this one, okay? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit on my on that chair. Okay. Down. Good boy. Sit. Good. <coughs> stand. Fluffy, stand. Good. <laughs> Down. Ooh. Sit. Good. Heel. Ooh, so tight on that heel, huh? 
Zdej. Alrighty, it's a quick change of scenery. Why? Because the doctor came in and we did our checkup. Now we're good to go. Like I was saying in the in the video there, hey, when you tell your dog to sit, it's not a it's not a performance dog. This is it, yeah yeah. He's not a performance dog. He's not a agility dog. No, he's my service dog. So what I'm trying to say is, if I tell him to sit and then stay after I say sit, stay, it's okay. I'm allowed to do that. If I tell my dog down and then I say stay, that's okay. If I tell my dog just to sit and he sits and I don't say stay, that's okay also. What I'm trying to say is your vocabulary may be different from my vocabulary, and that's okay. As long as the dog knows the basics. Then you can go on for the basics for most to under, nah. As long as your dog does what it's supposed to do. And you have photo bombers right there. So what I'm trying to say though, okay, is your vocabulary may be different from mine, and that's okay. How you train your dog may be a little bit different from how I train mine, and that's okay. Because everybody thinks that their way is the right way. And I'll be the first one to tell you, I'm up to try anything. I'm up to try anything and everything. And if it doesn't work, try something, try it a new way. If that don't work, try it another way. If that don't work, try it another way. See, before I'd give up, now I don't give up. Proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. Until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, we'll probably get some comments below on some agreeing and disagreeing with that. That's okay to spark a conversation between people to expand your horizon on your knowledge. That's 100% okay.